Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at S Class Connor who is going to be the next promo character coming to RTS. It is the first Connor we've had in the S Class era. We haven't had too many Connors in the past. One of the my favourite characters actually was Six Star Fast Connor right at the beginning of the Six Star era. It was a lot of fun to use. Looked cool as well. Visually, this Connor doesn't look too bad. I kind of, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. He has got like, I don't know what kind of jacket that would be, but it looks very protective. He's got the, uh, the sort of ammo gear belt all around him as well. Um, he's got a greenish scarf on it. I haven't seen him look like this in the past, but he's got that. Connor haircut that we all know and love. On the left hand side we can see what he looks like as we already have. We already know what Connor's going to look like. He's He's got the, the red sort of jacket on at the same time on the left hand side as well. Um, and as a full vet ringed S class character he has got 3,278 attack, 3,641 defense but 5,376 HP. He is an alert character, of course, holding that pistol on the right-hand side. He is considered a medic, and, well, I guess he's potentially going to be bringing some, some Heelys, the Heelys to the teams, but most likely going to be a defense team character with this sort of defense stats and a medic role. But we're going to see what he is going to bring with his adrenaline rush. It's called Get Moving. It has a 76 AP cost. Revive up to two teammates with 50% max HP. And then the second part is while battling on the defense team, up to three enemies get 100% heal reduction and 100% infection for two turns. Obviously, this is extremely powerful, has a lot of kill potential at the same time as... You know, being able to pick up two teammates. He will not do any heals at all, except to the characters that he revives. So effectively, if he's used on attack, he could be just not doing anything. You know, do his rush to not revive anybody, not to heal anybody, nothing. The second part will always work on a defense team, of course. 100% heal reduction and infection combo is really, really powerful. Even if you don't get off the 100% heal reduction, it's really hard to heal someone for 100% of their HP in two turns. There's not many characters who have huge heals. Uh, pretty much, just I guess the most recent one would be Mackenzie, but there, there, there never was that many medics in the S-Class era. Not really huge healing ones, especially not in that sort of time frame. I mean, if you consider... S-Class Pete has a 40% heal on his active. That's got a two-turn cooldown. He'll be able to get that off once. You've still got another 60% HP that you need to heal up. Okay, so Connor will rush on the next turn. I have taken in some low HP characters just to show you the, the revives as well, just so you can see how that works. But you're going to see the, the heal reduction come in and the infection. So we're just going to do a basic attack with Akira just to make it go on the defense team's turn. The rush is going to come in. The two revives will come in. And so will the infection and the 100% heal reduction. It did go on to Akira. He, of course, can cleanse this sort of thing. But as you can see down the bottom left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner, we have Priya and Andrea who have got 100% heal reduction and 100% infection. This will last two turns and then they're instantly going to turn into dust. And that's how it works. You know, there aren't too many healers who are going to be able to fix this. You're going to have to have someone who cleanses heal reduction and has huge, huge amounts of heals. So obviously big potential there, and while I, he has got the revives there, I wouldn't really consider this a medic rush, I'd more consider this a, you know, a damage dealer's rush, or you know, maybe a support character, because I don't know, that that, that, that infection is, is nasty, just alone, but the heal reduction on top, yikes, that's a yikes. The rush is very powerful, if he can get off, Obviously going to be very powerful and a lot of the time he could be picking someone up because it's normally going to go off like turn three and you know teammates are, are potentially have going to dropped in that time. Now he has got an active skill and this is where Connor really gets powerful. Days, crosshair and AP up. It has an initial cooldown of turn one, cooldown of two, number of uses five. Up to five enemies get days and crosshairs for two turns. This character gets 100% AP up. So obviously this means he can get a first turn command rush, which is obviously insane because of that last part. But the first part means you will not be able to use any active skills against teams with Connor in unless you stop him from doing his active. Any takedowns mean that the crosshairs, they will be decapped. So if you combo this character with the right characters, obviously you're going to have a full lock 
the character in question being Jesus. He is an alert character, Connor, so he can go on a Jesus team. Jesus can do a full team in pair. Connor can do a full team days, and there will be no way of getting out of it. Le legitimately, nothing you can do, except potentially, like, weapons to cleanse, and that's pretty much just Akira, and Akira can't really do anything by himself, you know? And he's going to take a lot of potential trauma damage in those situations as well. So this will work on attack and defense as well. So you'll be able to lock it down pretty easily. So we'll come up against this team on the first turn. And what we're going to do is we are just going to get a lot of attacks in on, let's say, Akira here. I don't really want to disarm him. I want him to cleanse. He'll probably take a lot of damage, actually, because he just took... Did he, did he get trauma? He did. But you saw both the actives come in of Jesus and of Connor. And he obviously got command rushed as well because he got that 100% AP. So you can see three of my characters have got 100% hull reduction and infection. And that would be the top left hand corner Alpha, the top right hand corner Rick, and Ivanova as lead. Everyone is now impaired. And everyone is now dazed. There's nothing I can do. I can't swipe left on anybody. So, you know, in things like Onslaught, this is going to stop those auto Onslaught teams. In, well, you know, obviously in everything else, it's going to stop you being able to use your actives to do any cleanses, anything. You can't do any team cleanses. Daze resist is hard to come by, honestly. Um, so that's going to be a big issue. And well, your team's locked. And the only way you're going to get through it is if you start to try and get some stuns off on the characters to stop them getting you in a loop, which you can definitely do. So I just stun both of these characters. And let's just defend, defend. And what will happen is the effects will run, off, run out. We'll just quickly get into it. And then, well, my characters will die because of the, uh, the infection. And because they had the crosshairs on there as well, they are going to be decapped. So... But at least I've got two more characters left that can gain AP. So that's pretty good. So I can get the AP on these characters, but then they're going to be uh, they're going to be impaired again. So alone, just alone, that active skill is nuts. But the combo with just being able to get that rush off turn one with a command is obviously going to be extremely, extremely powerful. But not just that. His synergy with certain other characters, particularly Jesus, potentially to a certain extent someone like Imani, just basically, you know, having a lot of control on turn one. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be pretty grim. You can obviously have characters in there as well that do taunt. Have like a Ben just thrown in there randomly. A lot of turn one controls at the end of the S-Class era. Kind of, you know, basically that's why we're going to Mythic era. Because of, of the situation we're in right now. And I guess, well, if you have Connor, you're going to have a lot of fun with him in, uh, in a few weeks. Or like just maybe two months that he's going to be like really viable he is extremely powerful you can just kind of like compare him to you know the likes of Priya at the end of the five star era very powerful character not much you can do about days resist at the moment unless you just got really lucky with mods personally i have got less than 10 days resist mods and like six of them were on on crit set unfortunately and then you've got to get the good rolls so yeah this one's gonna be a problem i feel like this one's gonna be a problem now he has also got the specialist skill dexterity this means that when he takes damage, the amount taken is reduced based on his current AP. And the more this AP the specialist has, the less damage they take. So if he's maxed out AP, he'll take basically 76 less AP, I believe. If this character health is above 20% and they take damage that would take them out, their health will be reduced to 19% instead. That's the two halves, is it? I can't remember which two it is. Is it, is it tenacity and evasion, I think it is, are the two halves of this basically dual specialist skill it is a powerful one it has been used quite a lot i think this is the third maybe even fourth character to get in the s class era kapoor i think maggie was there i think maybe there was another character too i can't actually remember but yeah it is it is quite frustrating it is harder to take the character out pretty much and yeah <laughs> you're gonna want to be able to take this character out as quickly as possible so what does this mean it means that you're going to be able to protect connor in particular against first turn damage i'm just going to get off some first turn damage with beta here and it's not going to like attack everybody because everyone's got camouflage but you have got characters that can remove camouflage argus for instance 
You have also got Raven. But if I was to do any level of damage against Connor, it would always block the takedown. You see his, his specialist skill propped. He's now down at 19% HP. It varies the amount of HP. It can vary within a couple of hundred. But he'll be at a certain, you know, pretty decent amount of HP still. He can get taken out by follow-up damage. But this is basically to protect him on that first turn. And considering, you know, he has got a first turn, you know, active that gives him 100% AP, taking him down quickly or at least controlling him quickly is going to be extremely important for your own success rate. So the specialist skill will basically make it a little bit harder for you to take him out. He will not have AP at the beginning of the game or the beginning of the battle very quickly because... If he does get that active off, you most likely will be commanded and then he'll be at zero AP. So the AP side of things is not going to be as powerful. It's mainly going to be just blocking him from being one shot. So that is the main sort of reason that he's got this special skill, I feel. Now you probably noticed that Connor does not have an attached weapon off the bat. And I do think this is a good thing, obviously. You know, with the limited time you've got to actually use this character to a high quality, you know, standard. Using armory tokens on the character as well to be able to put a weapon in their hands would probably put people off actually wanting to get him even more so than they were already. And I think that this is a good move. You know, if I was to get this character luckily on a SC pool, I might put some resources into them just to get a little bit higher, just to, you know, use him for, like I say, a few weeks, a couple of months. And I would hate to have to put, you know, armory tokens to be able to actually equip him with a weapon. So you're going to be able to instantly do that via weapons you already have constructed you could potentially give him the absolute defense pistol that we got in battle passes a couple of times ago there is the amber's pistol that's in the league store right now bit overpriced kind of like maybe debatable how good it is in the first place you know they don't stack too well the uh the alert buffs and the, we've been given a lot of alert buff pistols so but a stun gun in his hands obviously will work absolutely fine so that is Connor, and he is obviously one of the endgame S-Class characters, and you know it's going to be the case. He's extremely powerful, the rush, the active, that combo as well, it, synergy with certain characters, commands, Jesus, any other, you know, rush controlling characters. You can basically laupo lock a team with huge kill potential on top, and, you know, no revive potential, and no heal potential, you know, it's, and this is turn one, this is turn one, so yeah. This is uh, this is maybe going to be not so super enjoyable coming up to, against those sort of teams for, you know, the last couple of remaining wars that we've got. While well, S classes are the thing, but <laughs> it's just like people are going to be counting the days pretty much. I think because yeah, this is going to be really frustrating to come up against these sort of teams. I feel, but uh, do give me your thoughts down below. What do you think of S class Connor? I am really happy that we do get an, like a fresh S class. It looks good. He's not got repeat art or anything like that, but. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope for, hopefully I never see him again. Honestly, I hope I never see him again in no battles, nothing. That would be the that would be the dream. Uh, that is uh, the, the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning into this one. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. However, if you are, make sure you've got notifications turned on to be told when my live streams go live when my videos are released. That is going to be the end of this one, though, guys. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.